the most expensive supermarket in the UK. This next bit's about you. See what we can get for 30 pounds. This is a little different, however. This is not looking good. free game we are coming to you live but not live from our home in London Christmas is right around the corner because there's a Christmas tree there although I did seem to point at you didn't I you did are you a Christmas tree no okay we hope you guys are doing fantastic let us know in the comments below where you are coming live but not live from and how you are doing as well let us know also so today we are up for a challenge up for <laughs> yeah we are up for a challenge as you guys know we've done lots and lots of money saving videos we've done lots of supermarket haul videos and there was one video where we managed to get our whole week's worth of shopping for under 30 pounds yeah and that was at asda with their special essentials range a very low price range so what i thought would be a fun thing to do today is find the most expensive supermarket in the uk and see what 30 pounds gets us there just to see if there is a big difference just to see if it is worth it going to one of these cheaper places yeah how much can you get yeah and just to see if we're being ripped off at these more expensive places we think we found the most expensive supermarket which is whole foods so this is going to be a genuine challenge to get it into 30 quid we're just going to see i'm going to hunt for some bargains in there see if they've got any special offers on we're going to see what we can get for 30 pounds in whole foods we actually i don't think we've ever been to a whole foods in the uk though we no. have many times in america though. yeah that's right and it was pretty expensive there i yeah, found it definitely was but when you're away when you're on holiday in america you don't think you're not as conscious about money no, you're like holiday mode yeah yeah so but i am going to be conscious today okay yeah. right should we get going yeah let's head out the door did you know katie that they only have whole foods in the uk in london do they yeah oh I only in london that. yeah okay which is fortunate for us there's in, quite a few scattered around we're in the right place then yeah <laughs> we're just going to get the tube there we're just waiting for a train now while we're waiting let me show you something guys so what i wanted to show you guys was this great new wallet and key case which i've got from this great company called the ridge they've kindly sponsored this video you can go and check out all their products at theridge.com forward slash freedom and what they specialize in is minimalist wallets and key cases made from high quality materials the wallet as you can see is proper compact holds up to 12 cards and you can have a strap around the side to keep your money in or an actual money clip it's much better than my previous wallet which was too bulky always used to stick out this fits perfectly in my pocket as well the key case nice and compact as well they're super strong they're so durable in fact that you can actually test them for up to 99 days and if you don't like them after 99 days you get a full refund the wallet in fact comes with a lifetime warranty it is a wallet that is built for life so that goes to show how high quality these are like i said you can go to the link on the screen ridge.com forward slash freedom and at the moment they've got up to 40 percent off their products online up until 22nd of december so go and check out the link in the description guys and you can check out all their great products there. okay so we're going to get the train guys like bob said because it's actually a lot easier to get to than in the car but jojo you're going to help me find some good special offers yeah yeah He's normally really good at finding special offers, so I'm glad we've got Jojo. Easy peelers, it'd be interesting to know. Oh, yeah, you're the authority on easy peelers. Yeah, and you always know the prices of them, so let's see. This place is actually really nice. It's it smells well nice. It's the it? best looking supermarket I've ever been to, but the ones in America always look like this as well, don't yeah. they? I'm hungry as well. This is a bad idea to come in when you're hungry. Bad. I never learn. Let's right. have lunch here as well. No. Let's expand the budget to lunch. Organic baby spinach, this is a staple. This is what we normally get from Lidl's. It's only about £1.17 in Lidl's though. £2.19 here. Rock it as well. That's already £4.19 of our budget. Oh, wow. wow. They do the Isle of Wight tomatoes here, which we got these so much when we were in the Isle of Wight, didn't we? Mm. I'm having to add it up as I go along. £2.59 for avocados, and they're not even organic. That is a lot. 
are. So one thing we're noticing already guys, there's a lot of organic stuff here, which is great, but of course the price is going to be very different to stuff that isn't organic. Bananas aren't organic, but I've got to weigh them. It's, they are. <laughs> it's 2 19 per kilogram, so I'm going to go and weigh these. Moment of truth. Oh, so it's just under a kilogram. So what do you reckon, about, about £2, two pound then? Pounds. Yeah, cool. estimate. Jojo, yeah. this next bit's about you. Come on, easy peelers. Here they are. They're a bag. Organic though. It's pretty good, eh? Yeah. We just grab one bag, yeah? How much would they be normally for that many? They'd normally be like something a little over a pound, maybe. About a pound, yeah. And they wouldn't be organic either, so. These better taste good, eh? They better. Katie, you were just making a very interesting sound as you walked past me. What was that coming out of your mouth? An offer. 20% off. Are these the regular things that we'd get though? No, but. Are you just get a citrus by an offer? Yes. But they're back. Just found out they're not an offer. See? These ones are an offer, but they're all gone. Look, there's a gap. And these ones are an offer, but they're not vegan. You got too excited, didn't you? I did. This is how it was in America. You got these tubs. And then you got to fill them up with all the food you wanted and you paid for it. We'd get lunch and stuff, wouldn't we? Yeah. I reckon we could buy a meal now and spend the whole £30 budget. Yeah, but... Because it's by weight, isn't oh, it? they do soup as well, look. Yeah, they did this in America. Soup and bread. Could definitely fill up a tub and eat right now. So all of that fresh food area is right in the middle of the store. And we've kind of gone halfway through the store. And we're halfway through our budget already. And as you can see from the trolley, we haven't got much. I'm looking for the cheapest pasta that they do because the cheapest pasta we got at Asda was 24p and I think I that's remember. like Lidl's and, yeah. uh, and Aldi and places like that as well. I found some of those whole wheat penne. That's the cheapest one they do, isn't it? Yeah, so one, 169. Yeah. <laughs> that's a big difference. I keep getting tricked by the sale signs. I'm like, oh, sale signs. And then it's like three pounds, three for some rice or nearly three pounds for some lentils. Which like what in the boogling bongos? Is that how you feel? Yeah, there's lots of different milks here, but the cheapest one I can get is this soy soya, which is 169. It's, it's not, not. It's not organic, is it's it? It's not organic. Cheapest. Oh, one. It, is, it says it bottom right. Oh, I think that's all they do. I'm pretty sure. At Asda, it was I think 55p. Yeah, you're getting probably maybe a better product here. What are you doing? Found cheesy vegan sauce. No, that's not like what the nacho sauce we used to get in America. Stop it, put it back. No, it's 4.79. We just about have budget for it. <laughs> it's either the baked beans or the, or the cheese. Put the cheese back. They got a spicy one. I too. don't care. Give me the beans. Okay, I've got 81p left on this budget. I really wanted to get some of these crackers. Trying to find something else and get for 81p. This is not looking good. What have you found? Here for 60p each. 60p, okay. I don't know if we'll find something for 21p after that one. So that might be it. Let's just see what else they have first. I think we might have something. We've got a winner, 80p. Great. 80p. Yes, Jojo? Make some juice. Yes. So we've done our shop now, guys. So we're gonna go and get this checked out, paid for, and then we'll get home and share with you what we got for this 30 pound budget. So we're back from Whole Foods, guys, with our 30 pound haul. We're gonna share with you now everything that we've got. What I need you to do first is cast your minds back to when we did the Asda video. If you haven't seen that video, we'll overlay some footage. We spent under 30 pounds on food and it was, this table is about, I don't know, six foot long. Yeah. It was from one end of the table to the other, the food. Yeah. We actually couldn't fit it all in the shop, could we? No, 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 we've got loads of items. This is a little different, however. And another thing I have to, we had to really try and stay on track with basic foods, you know, basic whole foods, because in there they had so many specialty foods, didn't they? Yeah, variety in there is really good. Yeah, Bob actually ended up messaging his sister saying that he wants, <laughs> you wanted a gift card for your birthday. Why are you putting me in it, man? <laughs> yes, I did, okay. Do you know why? Because 
he always says to his sister, I don't want anything for my birthday, but then she always insists on getting you a voucher, so you just message her saying, I want a voucher yeah. for Whole Foods, because- She probably won't get it now. Yeah, anyway, let's get into it. So, we have to confess that we went over budget by £2.47, and I think that was just because things that we were weighing, we, they didn't give, the weighing didn't give you a sticker. You had to estimate based on the price per weight, didn't you? Yeah, they just had these old fashioned scales that you just put the things on and then you just has to e had to estimate what it was. But we'll show you what we got for £32.47. Greens. The organic spinach and organic rockets. As I said, loads of organic stuff in there. Yeah. In fact, a lot of the products we came across, they only had orga organic, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, and Bob actually saw a sign saying that they don't do any hydrogenated fats or anything like no, that. Yeah, no hydrogenated fats, no artificial sweeteners, and no high fructose corn syrup in any of the products they sell, which is really good. That is good. Because so many products have those things slipped in there. Um, soy milk, expensive, that was like... One like 89 or something like that. Only 55p at Asda. You can get three of them. <laughs> yeah, and some it's, other places. It's not organic. Oh, it is organic. Yeah. That's the only thing you couldn't do a proper comparison because the cheapest things were organic in there. So yeah. you, you know, I mean, we did eat all of that food ourselves over the week, didn't we? That Asda food, and mm. it was all pretty good. Like, there That's wasn't, right, yeah. There wasn't anything that I would say that was, that was horrible or gross. Or, or low quality, yeah. Yeah, it was all good quality. But you know, so we're bearing that in mind that some of you may say, this is better quality. Yeah, it probably is, and it's organic. But we just wanted to put it to the test. Right, we've got two avocados here. Those weren't organic. The loose ones were, weren't they? Yeah, these aren't, these weren't organic. We've got this, this was the cheapest cereal we could find, which is a puffed spelt. So it's just basically a cereal that's, I mean, it's got it's got no extra sugar and salt and all that in. Yeah, I think that'd be nice with some um, berries. Which or some soy milk. Which, Breakfast salted. Which we haven't got any berries because they weren't like in that. the bud budget, were they? Bread, oh wow, this was so expensive. It's not sourdough bread or, Organic. This is just a basic French yeah. white stick. Yeah, one pound forty nine. Wow. Bread is normally cheap, especially if it's basic white bread. Yeah, tomatoes. Organic, right? Yeah, these are organic okay. as well. These are the, the ones from the organic farm on the Isle of Wight. And they're nice. They're written, we know they're nice. Yeah, we do. One grapefruit that we're going to have to share. We know that was eighty p. You know what we're going to have to do after we've got everything out? We've got to tell you if we think it could last a week. Yeah. Well, so figure out what meals it would be how long it would last. I don't think it's going to last a week. We'll see, we'll see. Let's keep yeah. going. Ah! We got lots of potatoes. Of course, got our potatoes. Because potatoes are a staple in this house. We eat so many potatoes. Yeah. It was two kilograms of potatoes, wasn't it, we got? Yeah, how much was it in the end? £4.42. That's where we went wrong with the budget. We were weighing these and going, maybe two kilograms will be fine, but... That's very expensive for mm. potatoes, and these weren't organic. They weren't. They weren't. Oh, okay. I don't think so. Okay. My baby. Tomato ketchup. I grabbed it. Is this an essential weekly item? It is. It goes lot... on everything. A chip, science, ketchup. It is, a, it is in a lot of households. I, I know people, they can't eat anything without ketchup. How much is a bottle of ketchup normally? 50p, 40p? If the cheapest ones you can get in shops are about 55p. This is 480 grams. It's a bitter, it's not the smallest bottle. Yeah. How much are we paid for this one? 279. Wow, it's organic as well. And the ingredients, it's only a few ingredients. It's sea salt as well. Yeah. So it's you're looking at quite a healthy ketchup. I almost want to have some now. Pasta. So we went for the cheapest pasta there was, mm -hmm. and it was an orga organic whole wheat yeah, pasta as well, which was. we would like to get anyway, wouldn't it? Maybe we wouldn't always get the choice of organic, but we normally get whole wheat. One sixty nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For a penny, you pay like forty p, wouldn't you? Something like that. Easy peelers. I think the ultimate test for these will be when Jojo eats them. They feel quite soft, so they feel like you can peel. Okay, that's good. That's that's one good thing. Yeah, those were two sixty. 260. I know. Oh my goodness. Tin of baked beans. This is done by the same brand that does the ketchup. And the reason I got baked beans is because we always buy baked beans. Yeah. It's, that is an absolute staple. Beans, house. potatoes. Oh man, that's, we're having that for dinner. These were £1.29. But they're organic as well. 
Yeah. Let's see how good they are. I mean, even they're organic though, can you warrant paying that much? It depends what goes into making them and bringing them here. They might be done locally and a lot more consciously. Okay. No process. Bananas, again, these are organic and they are fair trade as well. £1.96. Wow. For that much, you would pay about a pound, right? Unless, yeah. probably even less 80 than a pound. 80p to a pound? Yeah. Got some rice as well. Again, we went for the cheapest option. This was long grain brown rice, organic as well. Yeah, that was 189 as well. And that, oh my goodness, that's it. Okay, now, this is the amount of food we got for just over 30 pounds. Compared to what the other haul we got. From Asda, yeah, we didn't have any gaps around the table. It was, stuff yeah. was everywhere. I'm sure this stuff is, is good quality. I think that's one thing yeah. that has to be bared in mind is, we've had, you know, we mostly eat a lot of organic stuff from different places and nearly everything in there was organic. Yeah. Not just like the brands that they had in there, but their own range and their own produce. Yeah. And so you'd like to think that the quality is a lot better. Yeah. We don't know until you taste it. The store looks amazing. Yeah. There's a lot of staff there and they all seemed happy as well. I was um, really impressed and it made me want to go back. Yeah, it does, but for I'm just thinking for your average everyday family, yeah. you're talking about it's probably would cost about at least two hundred pounds to do a weekly shop. I think. Yeah. At least two hundred. Well, do we think this one could cover a week? Mm, oh, that's yeah. That's what we need to figure out. Is this so pasta and salad, which might be one bag of greens, maybe some tomatoes. That's one meal. Rice is another meal, maybe with beans or potatoes and beans, you've got some cereals there. I feel like we might only get a couple of days out of this. I think two days. Maximum. The breakfast, that would last probably one day with the milk, that would, yeah, with banana and, and on top for and breakfast. And a couple of milk, yeah, oh, two days maximum, yeah. I guess to make it fair, you'd have to time to buy three and a half, which mm. would be 105 pounds. Okay, for a week, not too bad, but I think at most this would last us a couple of days. Yeah, but then this is where you weigh up the price and cost of healthier, potentially better food. I mean, you can't put a price on health. It is yeah. better to get healthier food, but some people just can't afford it. Yeah, this is why we do these sorts of videos, just to show the different perspectives, to show the different prices, to help people be informed when they're making decisions, if they wanna eat healthier or if they're on a budget. We, we try and cover all ends of the supermarket spectrum, I guess. Yeah, I, I do feel a bit let down in just for the fact that there was not enough, that their offers weren't really offers. <laughs> I mean, we just... found this with other more expensive supermarkets like Waitrose and Co op. Yeah, I would definitely have to agree with you there because I would say their offers are more expensive than the, the normal prices at other places. Yeah. Yeah, so I'd say if you want healthy food, organic food, and you're not so worried about price, I'd say go there. But if you're on a budget, for most people on a budget, I don't think, I mean, this would literally last a couple yeah. of days. I mean, if not one day. Yeah, it depends. I mean, for a family of three, you're looking at one to two days. But either way, guys, I hope you have found it informative. Like I said, that's why we do these sorts of videos. We'd love to hear in the comments below any other supermarket challenges that you would like to recommend. Let us know in the comments, maybe some for the Vlogmas, as we are doing Vlogmas. If you are new to this channel and you want to see our Vlogmas videos, we'd love it if you subscribe. If you're already part of the free gang and subscribed, hit the notification bell so you are kept up to date and all of the uploads that we are going to have coming up. We're going to have lots of them as we're doing Vlogmas. But that is it where we're ending today's video though, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We will see you all in the next video. But just remember, no matter what supermarket you go to, you guys always stay free. And just keep rising.